Dear Heart, I don't know why I've been acting so weird lately. Since when have I had a resting heartbeat of 130 beats per minute? Oh right, my thyroid. Anyway, I didn't know it was possible to care too much and too little until I met you. I wish you would allow my brain to figure out what my priorities are because honestly, you're pretty stupid. Dear Brain, if you get a chance, maybe take the anxiety down just a couple notches or, you know, all the way. Just chill out, stop thinking so much. You get all wound up and it messes up entire days or weeks or months. I don't even know what to say to you. It's your fault I can't figure out who I am. Am I a cynical person or am I an optimistic one? I don't know. Depends on the day. Depends on your mood. I don't really care what kind of person I am anymore. I just want to know. So figure out some consistency already. Dear Eyes, why are you so tired all the time? I'd really like to maintain a lifestyle of computer screens and late nights and lots of reading, but you're making me doubt everything. I can't wear glasses comfortably because your lashes are so long they keep bumping into the lenses. Oh, and by the way, do you know how jealous I am of everyone who has 20-20 vision? They can wake up in the morning and see right away. They don't have to feel vulnerable and blind until they get up to put on their contacts. They can go on spontaneous adventures without having to rely on a pair of glasses or a case and contact solution. Dear Hair, why is there so much of you? I know there are worse problems to have, but even when I keep you short, there's too much to work with. Do you realize how many hours I spent picking hairs from bathroom counters and working a brush through your knots? I never feel like I have time to straighten or curl or blow dry you because it takes way too long. I wish I could figure out what to do with you. I wish you were one shade darker or one shade redder or just a little more rich or a little more different. Dear nose, is the cartilage of a nose supposed to be thick by the nostrils and thinner in the middle? Dear mouth, I wish the teeth you've got were whiter. Why does your jaw always ache? Can't believe you haven't been able to stop your teeth from chewing on your lips and cheeks every time you get stressed. Speaking of stress, do you think I enjoy wearing a plastic snap-on splint in my mouth every night to keep you from chewing on your lip and grinding your teeth and clenching your jaw? Dear ears, why do you keep filling up with wax? It's really annoying, you know? It's been so inconvenient when I travel. Is it your fault I feel like my balance is always off? Dear thyroid, please figure out what you're doing already so that I can figure out what I'm doing to you in return. I don't know for sure, but I highly suspect you are what's causing the appetite changes, fatigue, heat intolerance, restlessness, anxiety, screwed up heart rhythm, insomnia, and sudden drop of 10 pounds to your shoulders. Every time I notice you, you've crept up toward my ears. Why can't you just relax and quit holding all that tension? It's forming knots and aches, dear wrists. I'm not sure years of percussion, piano, tennis, writing, and days spent on computers have treated you well. Why do you pop so much and ache all the time? Oh right, it's probably my fault. Whatever, I still blame you. Dear hands, is it just me or is that finger kind of crooked? Remember that time you burned yourself on the oven? Yeah, give me a scar that isn't going away anytime soon. Are you supposed to see those veins so clearly? Why does your pinky finger keep getting stuck on the first knuckle when it bends? You look better when your fingernails are painted. Dear stomach, why can't you figure out whether or not you're hungry? I eat generally three meals a day and I don't get why you're so confused. Not to mention the nausea. Why do you get a little upset every time I'm like a tiny bit stressed? Stress and anxiety and frustration should happen in my brain and maybe in my chest, not in my stomach, okay? To your legs. I feel like my kneecaps are smaller than everyone else's. Oh look, a shaving incident. And there's that time a kid hit me in the shin with a frisbee. Why do you always feel so stiff? I always feel little twinges of pain and weird sensations in my knees and ankles. Don't go blame the thyroid or my anxiety. I bet it's your fault. Dear feet. I wish you could handle more walking around before you get achy and tired. I wish this bone wasn't so prominent, not to mention that vein. You know what? I like your arc, and I like the length of your toes. Some of my favorite sensations regard you. I like walking barefoot on cold floors and on the beach. I like wiggling my toes against carpet or in grass and dirt. I like setting you up on a propped open drawer while I work. And dear legs, I quite enjoy bending you. Thanks for letting me walk and run and dance and stuff. Dear stomach, sorry that I was messing with you. Join the club. While you figure everything out, I'll do my best to eat the right stuff and the right amount of stuff for you. Dear hands, thank you. You allow me to do all the things I love. You allow me to type on the keyboard of my laptop. You allow me to flip pages and enter new worlds. You allow me to strum and press strings to form chords. You allow me to turn on my camera and my microphone. You allow me to open doors and touch and feel and hold. Dear wrists, maybe those years of percussion, piano, tennis, writing, and days spent on computers made you stronger. Thanks for being there to hold bracelets and give me control over my hands. Dear shoulders, you're so strong. Without you, I won't have arms, and without arms, I won't have hands, so you're a critical part of writing and playing the ukulele and all sorts of things I love to do. Dear thyroid, <laughs> I'm still pretty mad at you. Dear ears, without you, I won't be able to listen to or sing or play music as easily. <laughs> what would I do if I couldn't listen to music? I don't think I'd be the same person. Dear mouth and jaw, thank you for working together to allow me to eat and taste things. Your teeth are so straight. I'm sorry I work you so hard when I'm stressed out. Oh, and you also allow me to speak and laugh and sing, so thanks for that. Dear nose, I like to breathe, so that's a plus. One of the greatest things in life, in my experience, is smelling the air after it rains. I also don't mind the smell of food and flowers and swimming pools. A lot of people don't like the shape of their nose, but I've never really minded you. Dear hair, I really like you. I especially like you, bangs. I like running my hands through my hair and getting my fingers all tangled up. I especially like it after you shower when you're starting to dry and you have that cool texture and I can feel coolness on the back of my neck and framing my face. Dear eyes, I am so incredibly lucky to be able to see, to see colors and nature and to be able to read and write and watch videos and see other people. I am so lucky that my family can afford contacts and glasses to allow me to see so clearly. I love how long my eyelashes are and I don't care that they get in the way. I think eyes are the prettiest part of most people. Dear brain, despite all your quirks, I love you. Let's work on our anxiety together as friends. Don't worry about it too much, okay? Thank you for allowing me to think. 
I love to think, even though sometimes I do it too much. You allow me to learn and form beliefs and recognize truths and lies. You allow me to make memories and remember things, and you are an enabler of every part of me. Dear heart, I can't imagine living in a world in which I didn't care too much. I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm sorry you've been so freaked out. I'm going to try to fix you, okay? Keep caring about important things. I also keep caring about people and things for reasons that don't make any sense to my brain because life is more interesting that way.